All right, guys, today we are going to be doing an Echo uh, SRM 280T carburetor and fuel lines. Uh, everything comes in a kit from HIPA. This isn't the kit. There we go. There's the kit. We've got uh, carburetor, gasket, um, air filter, fuel line, spark plugs, fuel filter. Everything you need to do this job is inside the box. All right, let me get set up. Uh, this is a HIPA product. It is uh, OEM quality products. Uh, I'll put the link for that in the description below. All right, let me set up. All right, so first thing we're going to do is go ahead and take the air filter cover off. Boom, there's no air filter or anything in this. Um, two Phillips head screws. Um, they're in there, just pop them out. that out of the way um, we're gonna go ahead and just cut the fuel lines off we don't even care about them I'll tell you which way they go or just pull them off whatever you gotta do break them off rip them off pull them off whatever happens um, 10 millimeter wrench on here um, or you can even just use a pair of pliers doesn't even matter just counterclockwise break it free give it a little loosen like that pop it out slides right out of the carburetor like this Just like that then we're going to take a flathead screwdriver we're going to get it underneath here let me get this off of here let's show you this we're going to get it underneath this grommet right here and just pry up just like that boom pull this grommet out now there's gas in here we want to rinse off the outside of this with like brake clean or something even wipe it off whatever you gotta do um you want to clean everything up really good blow it off with air whatever drain every drop of gas out of there blow it out with air rinse it out with brake clean or gas whatever you got just to make sure the tank is completely free of dirt, no uh, water, nothing in there. When you do a new carburetor and fuel lines, you really want to use brand new bought today gas. All right, and we're gonna grab the uh, fuel filter and lines out of this. So we've got two lines that don't have, this is a vent. So these two lines we want to separate one of them we're going to pull down in a little bit it's going to shorten this up this is going to be the one the, the shorter up top is going to be the one that takes the filter shove it on there all the way in nicely see the short line is the one with the filter all right now we're gonna have fun jamming this thing back in. Filter in, lines in, hold on. All right, so we're gonna push this grommet backside in first, and we're gonna hold it with our thumb, and then we're gonna work from one end to the other, pushing the front side in. A little bit at a time. I make it look easy. You're probably gonna complain and bitch and moan and this piece of crap and that and that and this and that, but it does go in. All right, then we're gonna take the new carburetor. Um, you'll notice that there's a bit of a difference on the new carburetor and the old carburetor. The new carburetor's got this deal on it. The old carburetor's got the slotted section. We're gonna take 
these two screws out and these two screws out we're going to swap this one over to this one um, just something you have to do to be able to get the better carburetor from HIPA all the other carburetors that are aftermarket still are like this they don't even really have a kit set up for this it's just this happens to be this is actually a Shindaiwa uh, 242 carburetor um, and uh, this this one uh, you know is the echo carburetor you'll see it works fine so we're going to take this out And then this slides right off like that. So we're gonna take this one out. Just one of those things you gotta do to only spend $20 on a complete kit and have a good running weed eater again. Slide it out like that. Then we slide uh, it into the new one like that, and then use the same screws that came out of this carburetor to put this back in. Not a big deal. Just something you got to do. Boom, just like that. Now we can slide, see this uh, barrel has a big side and a skinny side. We're gonna slide this little barrel of this cable into the big side, just like that. Goes right on into it. Pop this here. We need to loosen this up a bit. Oh, there it is. Boom, it's all the way up there. We're gonna tighten this down like so. Make sure this is bent down like with the carburetor. 10 millimeter, tighten it up. So, um, you can take the old gasket off if you want. No big deal. Um, this one comes with a new gasket. Wherever I put that, oh, there it is. Comes with a brand new gasket. So, we're going to take air filter assembly. It's just got a rubber gasket on this side for the air filter assembly just through just gasket on the back side with the little holes pointing down those little holes are the vacuum ports for the fuel pump built into your carburetor line it up screw it in now you're going to want to make sure when you're screwing this down that you don't get those fuel lines pinched behind it as you get closer just make sure those fuel lines are out of the way just make sure nothing's getting pinched behind it no cables no nothing because if you got something pinched behind it, it sucks air and then it doesn't get a good pull on the fuel through the carburetor and the fuel pump doesn't get a good vacuum to make it run. Check one more time. Everything's out. Tight. Tight. All right. Now I'm going to flip this around so you can see the fuel fuel lines, how they go in. Oh. Good 
view. All right, so this bigger one is the one that the filter. So that's the shorter line. We don't want too much line. If you get too much line, the line tends to kink and a kink will stop it from running. So we want to measure out how much line we need. Hold on, let me get this. Okay, so uh, this vent, we'll get it out of the way. It goes right up in this hole here, boom. Short line goes to the big nipple that's inside closest to the engine. I'm gonna measure off what we need, I think we're around there. Cut off the extra, and then we're gonna stab it on to the nipple and get it all the way up on there. Look, see it's still too long, it's kinked. That's not good. We're gonna take a little bit more off. Now, you can even go too short. Now, oops, it's too short, no big deal. You put a bunch of line in there. Oh, look, that's not too short at all, though. <laughs> Shove it on there. You put a bunch of line in there, so you can actually pull some line out if you need to. But boom, that's done. Now we're going to go to this side. We want to measure this one off. How much line do we need? Boom. There's plenty of line inside, too. If you cut that one too short, you can just pull a little more out. Um, shove that on like that all right now we're gonna dump a little gas in this thing it's enough to where we can uh, prime it up we're gonna prime the engine all right it's priming it actually got fuel going through that primer bulb if it isn't look back in here the tank here if you see foam coming out of the fuel filter that means you got these two lines backwards flip them around prime it up you should be fine all right let me get this thing set up here all right so full choke primed up um make sure the switch is on on the handle i hold the hand of the throttle wide open oh it just fired take it off choke keep it full throttle It's got a frozen up end on it now. Not letting it spin. There it goes. I'm going to have to grease that. Runs fine. All right. So, just in case, I'm going to show you this. If you hit the throttle, and it bogs and tries to die out, there's an adjustment screw right here. You turn it counterclockwise. You get it to where it doesn't bog when you go from idle to you know throttle up. Then at full throttle, you fine tune it to where you get just under that peak, you know, where it's really high. Just bring it just underneath that a little bit and then you're, you're perfect adjusted. Um, you won't be bogging or anything. Um, and then, air filter back on air filter cover back on you're ready to go all right guys uh i gotta grease up the end of this i guess i'll do another video I'll show you how to do that um it's good to do that regularly to make sure that there's plenty of grease in the end of it um i'll put the carburetor and the whole kit with the filter everything in the description below just click on the link um this helped you out in any way shape or form give me a thumbs up hit that subscribe button peace